Haters mad for whatever reason. Love in the air, been drinking. They losing when the DJ drops a needle. You know your life's in a cycle when you see repetition, recognition, the tradition becoming reminiscent. I hope and pray that one day the world. My name's Tyler Chaffins, and I attend St. Charles High School in Waldorf, Maryland. Tyler, Tyler, Tyler. <laughs> so, what does music mean to you, Tyler? Music is everything to me. I, I sleep and I breathe music. It wakes me up in the morning. It, it motivates me in everything that I do and it influences everything that I do in life. What would it mean for you to win the opportunity? It would mean everything to, to spread my music to the world. I like to have fun with my music. I like to, to connect to a crowd, connect to their hearts. So, I mean, winning this would not only affect me, but would affect everyone because my music will influence everyone. Now you rap and you sing. Yes, sir. Um, if you only had to choose one, which would it be? Ooh, mm. ooh. Mm, give it to him. Ooh. <laughs> um, I mean, I see myself as a Drake type artist, okay. but but honestly, if I had to choose one, I have to choose rapping, I guess. Rapping. Yeah, I feel like I'm a better rap lyricist. I can sing and I have that ability and I feel like I'm good at it. But I mean, rapping, I just feel like I have a, a mean flow when I rap. I know that's right. Who, who are some of your influences? Rap influences? Oh, mu oh. just musical in general. Chris Brown, mm -hmm. August Alcina, mm -hmm. Prince. Nice. Mm -hmm. Number one Prince song. No, oh, oh, Purple Rain. That's easy. That's, yeah. that's, that's, <laughs> that's easy. That's not even a question. Yeah. No doubt. So, uh,. When you get up, with, let me ask you this one then. Okay. Um, you only had to choose one. Okay. Studio or the stage? Oh, stage. Wow. I love getting the crowd into it. The crowd makes me turn into a totally different person. I turn into a monster on stage. So. Yes. Yeah, that's, I love the stage and everything that it brings. Wow, so when you, we get out here on this stage, you're going yeah, you you know, to get lit? It's gonna be oh, lit. yeah, I'm going to show you a little something. I'm going to show you some moves. I'll show you some moves. Yeah. I'll show you some moves. Yeah. So, so it's, it seems like you are just like, you, you know who you are, right? Yes. Like, if, if we can put a definition to your swag, what is it? Hmm. Dang. Uh. Definition? Yeah, I can't put that in words. Ooh, I know I that's right. it's just so many adjectives. I, I really can't so give, explain. Give me a few of them. Uh, I mean, cool, laid back, <laughs> yeah. lit, energetic, colorful. Cause I, you know, when I get my fashion, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I get, I get, I gotta incorporate everything. So you know, <laughs> I'm just like, I just can't explain it. I, yeah, I really just can't. can't. It just comes yes, out naturally. Yes. Um, where did you get your influences in terms of like how you style yourself? Well, uh, Russell Westbrook. Uh, no, that's right. I, I look. I love basketball. That's another part of my heart, right there. So, are you good, Russell Westbrook? Oh, oh you want to see me? You want, <laughs> you want to go out there? You want to go out there? Give you a little bit, a little shake and bake. Russell, uh, they, I get the comparison. Odell Beckham comparison a lot. So, yeah, it's another one. And. Uh, I love Chris Brown's style, his whole Black Pyramid thing and stuff like that. Yeah. Really influential towards my style. So yeah. If you could do something with your music to help people, what would it be? Ooh, autism. Mm. Um, I I wasn't wasn't able to talk until I was eight years old. Wow. I was born with autism, actually, and both of my little brothers they have severe autism. So I try to be a huge role model for the autism community, and so I just want to make a huge effect on that. How'd you, so so what changed? I mean, you just gave me chills right yeah. there. I mean, my mother and my grandmother, they just, and school, it's just like they gave me like so many uh, lanes, like talking to people and communication, like, and then it just clicked. Like I, I clicked and I started talking to everyone and I just, yeah. So do you find yourself, do you have any difficulties now communicating with people or is that all a, a thing that's in the past? Um, I'm really, I feel like everything's changed like that. I'm more outgoing, but at the same time, emotionally, sometimes I have a little bit of trouble, but that, I mean, that's in the past. I just really like to love everyone. That's my main goal. Yeah. How does that, how does that um, emotional um, 
but I, I don't want to say enslavement, but when you feel like you're you're caged within yourself, how does that come out in your music, in your performances? Because you talked about like liking to be on the stage. I just that energy just pushes me to make my lyrics even wiser, or or make my singing even more. Uh, compassionate towards the crowd so when it comes out it affects everyone that's what i want my music to do to affect everyone and once it does i feel accomplished that's awesome yes. well i'm i'm really excited about you being here yes. um, i'm excited about all of the contestants but just hearing your story it is incredible to go from not talking at all to you singing were, and to, rapping. Yes, and being, I mean, you are in a studio. And it's not, you know, it's not, it, it wasn't just, you know, um, like I know the story of Maya Angelou where she made a decision to just stop talking, right? And you, it sounds like you felt like you were caged within yourself. And there were a lot of influences that had to say, you know, you can do this. Let me give you a number of options right. for you to get your voice out there so that your voice could be cage free. Right. And now, because you're getting your voice out there, you are, I mean, you are thriving. Thank you God, are thriving. That. And I, I cannot wait to hear. <laughs> I, I, saw, I would not have, I would never have guessed that seeing your video online and that's why you can't judge a book by its cover right so we're we're looking forward to your performance thank you and thank you so much tell me you know tell me that you know